now. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the dojo. I'm your host, the big, the bed, and hopefully the only Silas. I have a guest for you tonight from BO3 Majors. We have PG with the Houston Toros. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. So we've got a few questions, uh, pretty quick questions, and we'll be done. So first, we all know you've been given the honor of being power ranked number one for BO3 majors. What's that like? And with that draft, did you expect it to turn out that way? Uh, it's pretty surprising that, uh, well, I mean, all right. So getting the draft, how I got it, I was not expecting that. Um, I didn't think Coco and Lele were going to fall to me. Right. Um, so after the draft was over, I figured it was either going to be me and myself or Jape for number one ranked. That makes sense. All right, well said. Um, your draft features a lot of terrain. You have many options with side pieces that work to your advantage. However, many people think that this very offensive team can be broken because of your choice to use double terrain, which I understand is hard to work with at times. How is double, double terrain, which I'm pretty sure has never been done here before, will help you this season? Uh, so I went into the draft wanting wanting to try it because all this new terrain stuff got added. So, it I mean, with what I've been working with so far, it's been working really well. And no matter what anyone says, I'm going to keep going for it. That's good. I mean, I guess with Alola and Raichu, it must be pretty good. Uh, yeah, um, it's because very strong. Because both types. Um, besides double terrain, this team still features many powerhouse Pokemon which is why it received an overall offensive rating of 18.9. If you can think of anything that could get past this team, what's the first thing that you think will? Uh, Jape. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I was thinking of oh, Pokemon in particular, but I might not leak it on this platform. Uh, better just keep that a secret. Do you uh, have... Sorry, go ahead. There are a couple Mons that probably can get past me anything with like choice scarf sludge bomb just crushes coco and lele that's true all right so do you have any scores to settle this season i only ask because i understand there was a reason behind the altaria pick so is there anybody you're looking to humble uh wolf and snail chan all right oh uh, so so tell us why altaria uh Altaria with the Cloud Nine ability essentially says no to all weather. Right, and I understand Wolf uh, has a partly Sun team. Wolf has a mini Sun team, and then Snail has a Sand team. Gotcha. All right. So finally, what kind of record do you hope to sport by the end of the season? Do you think your draft is a ticket to playoffs? I would hope so, um, but obviously, I need to. I need to play well and have the hacks in my favor. I'm like week one. Right. All right. Anything you think you could do uh, regarding FA trades to make this team any better than it is? Yes. What's that? Uh, Komala and Altaria can be swapped out at any time. Um, and then Lando T could be swapped out as well for a potential – swap later on that I have planned. Interesting. All right. Any message to the other draft players while you have the platform? Hmm. I'll see you in the playoffs. Oh, that's bold. Okay. All right. Well, that's all. Everybody in BO3 majors, watch out for this hyper offensive team. It's really going to be something else. This has been Silas and PG Butters in the dojo signing off. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you. All right. That's it.